Today, most of the United States is currently using fourth generation wireless technology or 4G. That's what you should see on the top of the screen of your phone. In a few years, it will say 5G for fifth generation. 5G wireless networks will be so fast and powerful, we don't even know exactly what the speed will be used for. Welcome to NeoScribe, researching the future for you so you don't have to. Back in 2008, I had the original iPhone. I remember how amazed I was about on having the idea, having the ability to surf the web on my phone from anywhere. That was so cool. I also remember like then the websites were so slow to load and all the websites were de desktop versions. There weren't even mobile versions of websites at the time, but I, I, I didn't mind how slow it was. I was just so amazed and it was just so awesome and futuristic at the time having the ability to surf the web on your phone and having an iphone back then using the using a 2g network that was really cutting edge and to think nine years later we can stream videos on our phones now with the 4g networks so and and so the way it works is every eight to ten years there's a new generation of wireless technology and networks developed and built uh, what happens is they, they they develop it and build it but it takes a while for the companies to implement them throughout the country because they have to physically build them. So now we're talking about 5G technology. 5G technology is currently under development and it isn't projected to be available anywhere until 2018 or later. Um, I have a quote here, a brief history of the of the generations of mobile networks and it's a quote from Asha Caddy of Intel. So Asha says, 2G was developed for voice communication, 3G was developed for voice and data, and 4G was designed for broadband internet experiences on wireless devices. And with 5G, we'll, we'll see computing capabilities getting fused with communications everywhere. So trillions of things like wearable devices don't have to worry about having computing power because networks will be able to do any processing needed. So in other words, 5G is being designed for the Internet of Things. So I just think that's really cool, just a cool simple way of seeing the evolution of the generations of wireless networks. So it's important to know that 5G technology, it's not an isolated development. It's not just one company developing the technology. There are many, many companies in the world developing their own 5G networks and technology. There's something called the Next Generation Mobile Network Alliance. They were founded in 2006 and that alliance, um, they're made up of mobile operators, vendors, manufacturers, and research institutes um, so what the alliance did they defined what makes up the criteria of a 5g network so a 5g network it needs to meet the first one is data rates of tens of megabits per second for tens of thousands of users the second is having data rates of 100 megabits per second for a metropolitan area the third is one gigabyte, one gigabit per second, simultaneous to workers on the same floor, office floor. And the fourth is several hundreds of thousand of simultaneous connections for wireless sensors. So that being said, it's hard to pinpoint just how powerful 5G networks will be. But one thing is certain, it will propel society into the future. It really will. So 5G networks will be so powerful um, they're gonna make your home broadband service obsolete. Imagine that. So to illustrate this idea, um, check this out. Verizon, they did a recent test of their 5G network uh, technology in May of 2017. They tested their 5G connection to a moving car around a racetrack and the connection reached speeds of 6.4 gigabits per second. That is incredible. But so how fast is that? How fast is 6.4 gigabits per second? So considering the average home broadband connection is around 50 megabits per second, it, that is incredible speed. With one gigabit being 1000 megabits, 
the Verizon 5G test of 6.4 gigabits per second is 120 times faster than the current home broadband speeds. Holy crap. So Verizon, Verizon is confident that they can start rolling out their 5G networks commercially by 2018. The, network, the wireless networks of the future is just around the corner and so we have a vague idea what it will be used for but it's a thrilling thought and it's incredible time to be alive knowing that we don't even know exactly how this will be used so the installation and implementation of the 5g networks it's going to happen slowly over the next 10 years but as it grows the internet of things will grow right along with it so th this 5g network it opens a lot of doors and i will kind of want to illustrate some some ideas and theories i have about the future and and what will what the 5g networks will make possible so the there's five key areas that i i'm keeping my eye on and so the areas are artificial intelligence cloud computing the internet of things augmented reality and of course the 5g networks and so i i think they're all connected and combining all these areas it's it will create things in the future that will blow our minds today i can't wait to see how 5g networks shape and improve our lives in the future but i want to know what you guys think how do you think 5g networks will improve our lives do you have any ideas comment below i want to hear from you guys so if you want to see more things about 5g networks the internet of things anything future related join the neo scribe tribe and subscribe i hope you enjoyed your journey if you did please leave a like it really helps our channel grow and i'll see you guys at the next video i am the oracle and this is the end of our journey